Hey there, so today I'm going to show you how to build and calibrate what's called the shank probe. So these probes are often useful for measuring the thin edge of a sheet metal part um, so we can get a good hit along that length of that cylinder so we're not trying to precisely center one of the ruby ball type of uh, probes. Okay, so let's first go over the build. Um, I built it right up to the point where we need to enter our shank probe. So I'm using a two millimeter probe. So let's look, look for the description here. So scroll down. So mine is two millimeters in diameter and 20 millimeters in length. So I can see it right there. So it's called tip two by 20 millimeter and then the word shank at the end of it. So we need to select that and there we go. So there's our build. Okay, so let's review some of the calibration settings we'll need to use because there's a very special one we need to apply here. Okay, let's click measure. So what I'll do is set the number of hits to nine. Pre-hit retract to three millimeters. Move speed I'll set to somewhere around 80%. Touch speed I'll leave at two. So I'll go with DCC mode only. User defined. So I'll split those nine hits up into three levels starting at the equator zero and the end angle 90, the North Pole. So what we're going to be doing with this tip is calibrating first as if it was just a regular ruby ball tip going through this calibration setting that I've just applied. But the special thing we do with a shank probe is we need to check the shank qualification box specify the number of shank hits so I'll use 12 and important we need to specify a shank offset so that is the distance up from the tip end up the shank so three millimeters is the spot where it will be calibrated on the qualification sphere at that tangent point so I'll run the calibration and I'll show you how that looks. So we'll see two calibrations. One is the just the normal calibration, and then it will do a second calibration because I have the checkbox shank qual checked with 12 hits at a three millimeter offset from the tip end. Okay, so let's uh, run the calibration and I'll just talk you through it. Okay, so we're all set up to calibrate here. So here's our, just our regular calibration routine. So these are the nine hits, start angle zero. So there's the second level of our three levels. And it will finish on the top at the North Pole. Okay, so that's done. So here's our shank qualification at that three millimeter offset. So you can see there's a good view of it there, just slightly below the equator. So it's calibrating at that tangent point of that three millimeter distance up from the bottom of the tip. There we go, so we're done. Okay, so let's have a look at the results of our shank probe qualification. So you can see down at the bottom here is the results of my latest one. You can see two sets of results and this is important. The first one is the one you normally see when you calibrate a ruby ball. So we have an XYZ offset a measured diameter and the standard deviation, in this case two microns, reported. So the important thing with the shank probe is that it's also calculating the vector angle of that cylinder. So that's important because no matter where we measure now on the side of that shank, it knows the angle of it or the vector of it. It knows the diameter and it knows the tip center. So it uses all of that information to correctly compensate for your shank probe hits. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you build the shank probe and how you calibrate it. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you found it useful and we'll see you next time.